with the word that I'm sitting on. <laughs> I don't know. The, the Lord just is downloading things to me, you guys. So, I've been sitting on this word for a minute. And it does pertain to Halloween. So, if you're offended by this or you don't agree, just keep skipping through the next slides that I talk about. <laughs> or just listen in and see if the Holy Spirit speaks to you because you never know. So, um, I have a bunch of notes. I've just been sitting here in my prayer closet, um, writing and journaling and just being. Sometimes you just need to be, you know, in the presence of the Lord and not, not like, receive anything or just come and be. So, that's what I've been doing recently. But, um, let me just get to the point. So, we know the Lord. So in the Bible, it's, it does state that our life is not ours. That when you become a Christian, you literally die to yourself. That means your way of thinking, your old self, your old patterns, what you used to do before you were a Christian. Like all that is dead and gone and you have to be born again. That's like, but that is a requirement to get to heaven. To be in heaven, you need to be born again. You have to be a born again believer. You die to your old self. The old do is gone. The old ways of this world sins of this world, lust of this world, pleasures, anything, you know, of this world is dead and gone and you put on your new self in Christ. And our life was bought for a price. It was very high price. It was death. The death of Jesus is what bought your life so we could live and have freedom. Um, because we're all destined to hell because of the sin, the curse, but Thank you, Jesus. He tore the veil and broke that curse on hum hum humanity so we can now come boldly before his throne and speak to him and have a relationship with him because he paid the price for us. And we're, we're told in the Bible to not use our freedom since God, you know, he gave us the freedom, the free will to choose him because he doesn't want to make us love him. What kind of, like, Think of like uh, being married and like trying to me trying to manipulate and make my husband love me like that's no relationship that's literally witchcraft so um we get to choose to love him where we don't have to do anything you know but him being the good god that he is he opened up this invitation for all humanity to come in and accept him because of what jesus said on the cross but we're told to not use our freedom once you become a christian you can't use your freedom to abuse God's grace and just because yeah we can do whatever we, whatever we want we're not everything that's beneficial for us as believers as it states in this um the new testament a lot of believers today um they lack like the spiritual knowledge or they take the spiritual side out of things where um there's a very real battle where we don't fight against flesh and blood that we are literally fighting against powers and principalities which are demons we are fighting against like entities and stuff in the spirit realm and a lot of things that happen in the spirit realm manifest to what goes on physically so sickness in the body you know death in the faint like all these things are a result of spiritual you know uh battle war that we're in that manifests to the physical so now that we know that we know our battle um in the christian life isn't um, against each other, you know, and, and stuff that happens in the physical realm. There's another realm out there, the spiritual realm. So we cannot live ignorant to this realm that's literally affecting our every life. It's affecting our relationship with the Lord. It's reflect, It's literally affecting everything around us. So if we live um, with that not in mind and just everything having a carnal mind, like you're going to be defeated. Like you're going to, you know, the devil is going to have a hold on you. But once you like know your authority and your power in Jesus and knowing that, wow, I like, you know, in the book of Mark, it says those who believe will cast out devils. They will heal the sick. They will set the captives free. Like we have power in us when we accept the Holy Spirit to overcome that darkness. The Lord died for us and we Christians as when we become a Christian we now have the authority that Jesus had when he was here so now it's our job so once you tap into that and you realize that like wow there's a real battle out there that is like that I can't see like I want to guard my house like the Lord made me the gatekeeper of my home and what I watch and what I listen to everything matters 
And the devil only needs a crack to slide right through and get into your marriage, into your life, into your finances, and to, to affect you. And some people are sitting here and they keep wondering why do this, these bad things start, they keep happening to me because you have a bunch of open doors in your life and you're living ignorantly to the spirit realm. Like you're, you're not even paying attention to, you know, things like you're not really diving deep and pressing in with the Lord for him to reveal these things to you. But, um, since the Lord rescued us from the kingdom of darkness, we should not be glorifying this kingdom by any means. It's a real kingdom and it's a real thing. And Halloween is a real holiday that witches and warlocks and people who know more than and this isn't like a fear message because there's no fear in Christ that we are not, we are not given the spirit of fear, but we are all told not to be ignorant. And the Lord says that he hates these things in the Bible. He said he hates these feasts that they celebrate and you can argue about Christmas and other things, but the origins of Halloween does not have anything to do with Jesus. It was never about Jesus to begin with, you know? So if you guys want to discuss other pagan holidays or whatever, that's a whole nother like topic that we're on. But there are people who know like how, you know, what to say, like <laughs> untapped and like, you know, that Christians are like so unaware of the spirit realm. So um, the witches and the people who are actually like in witchcraft who practice this holiday and this is like a big this is their christmas this is their holiday for their who they worship who they worship the devil and um their main target you know is children and they and as the gatekeeper of our homes we are to be wise is it like worth we're not to partake in anything it's one we're supposed to say it says come, come apart be it you know we're set apart we're holy like don't blend into what they're doing how can you mix like that with what we're doing and saying that oh it's innocent well when you're dressing up you know you're that's actually on this holiday and you're going door to door and you're getting candy and your stuff that's actually like adding fume to the flat fire for the witch rolls that are going on behind the scenes whether you believe it or not um you can look up you know people who are actually in this in the occult will say like they want your kids to participate in this and you can say i don't believe in that and like you know my god is bigger than that which our god is bigger than that but again why would you want to welcome spiritual warfare into your house? And then you have all these problems, you know, um, going on when really you could have just had nothing to do with it and say, me and my house will serve, serve the Lord instead of, you know, opening up a crack for Satan to come in. There is a real enemy out there that wants to take your life. Like, he does not play fair. And he, you know, is actually called the angel of light, light on the devil, you know, and he is very manipulative and deceptive and he makes all things look innocent and good. So this holiday looks like innocent and good, like it will do no harm later on down the road, but you don't even know what kind of doors that you're opening into your family, especially because October, you know, if you look up like the satanic holiday, if you actually do your research and look up like what these people believe and do, they spend hours and hours a day like to doing rituals and sacrifices to Satan and all these gross, like, un like, stomachable things that people are doing that meanwhile Christians are over here, oh, like, I'm just gonna dress my kid up and they're not, not praying, not, you know, no fruit in their lives, living such a carnal life, powerless life, um, while there are Satanists who devote hours a day to Say so you're supposed to be on guard and protecting our homes, not welcoming demons into our door, not welcoming and saying, oh, that's legalistic, that's, that's too spiritual. When guess what? There is no thing, there is no such thing as too spiritual. Like, I hate hearing people say, you're too spiritual, oh, you're that type of Christian, oh, you're like that, like, literally, like, like, it, like, baffles me that there are actual Christians who are decorating for this holiday, like, putting witchcraft, like, witch hats in their homes in the name of decor <sighs> like that you're literally opening up a door for the devil to come into your house the devil the spirits can attach attach themselves onto objects it's gonna say oh that object that belongs to me that's an open door you're wondering why your kids are sick why your house is in chaos why all these things are happening but you literally have stuff that belongs to his kingdom in your house like you can say i'm crazy or not but spirits can attach attach themselves onto objects Okay, this is deep stuff, you guys. I'm sorry, but the Holy Spirit is just fired up in me. Like, like you cannot bring a skull, like, bringing skulls, bring, bringing all this, like, Ouija boards, whatever it is in the name of decor or anything. Like, th that is, those are satanic objects used in ritual, rituals. Like, do people, do Christians think that witches are not real? 
like what side do you represent like are you gonna be for the kingdom there's no more middle ground you can't be middle ground anymore like pick a side like do you want to serve the lord in spirit and yes we have the power they're afraid of us we have the authority over the kingdom of darkness they don't have any power over us that's why they need to do all these rituals and all this stuff and do all these things because they want us ignorant to this they don't want us to think that this is real they want christians to laugh and say you know blah 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 because yeah it all sounds like crazy but it's real you guys there's a real kingdom of darkness out there that targets christians and there are too many christians who are blinded by this and not enough that are awake and we're told again we're told again to expose darkness don't partake in it don't have anything to do with such things don't put that stuff in your house it's not all fun and games it's not just you want to be the cool pinterest mom and have witch house witches hats floating in your in your kitchen like what is wrong with people come on jesus like get real get saved for real get our homes are for the holy spirit and they're supposed to be holy ground you're not supposed to bring detestable objects to the lord in your house like you need to do a clean out you need to walk around your house with some anointing oil and anoint every single door and room and invite the holy spirit there if you don't feel the presence of god how is how is god gonna come and fill that house when you have satan's objects in that house anyways our house is not should not be a demon playground like we we need to really spend more time with the lord than we do on social media and this is for me too i'm preaching to myself we need to spend more time in this sacred place with the lord on our face repenting as a nation for what we have done for the mockery that we've made of christianity for not even giving him we seen you're worthy of it all you're worthy of it, but are you giving him his all are you really giving jesus your all or are you only picking and choosing what looks good to you? Are you saying, that's too spiritual. I'm not going to do that. This person's going to make fun of me. I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to offend my family. Like, the Lord is done with that. You're going to only, the only person you're going to stand before when you die is the Lord Jesus Christ. You're not going to stand before your dad. You're not going to stand before your mom. You're not going to take an account to your parents. You're literally going to stand before the Lord. And he's going to ask you, what did you do with your life? What did you do with your life? Did you care what other people thought? Did you live? Stop being lukewarm. Stop being lukewarm. It's time to get serious about your faith. It's time to get serious about Jesus because the hours are short. And we need to be on guard and we need to be praying and just fasting and really seeking the Lord like never before. The time is too short. You need to wake up. Stop participating in darkness and start exposing it. Start exposing it. The Holy Spirit, if you are saved and have the Holy Spirit, you will get convicted. And if you're not getting convicted, I pray that the Holy Spirit will talk to you and convict you. There are some things that our conviction matters, like tattoos and piercings, and I have both of those, you know, like, though, and, and the Bible talks about things like that, like, don't dispute about those things. It's, like, not a heaven or hell issue, and I'm not saying that this is a heaven or hell issue, but this is about, you know, opening doors into our lives, and I believe that this is rooted in, rooted, rooted in sat Satanism and the occult. And if you know anything about deliverance and getting set free, I have gotten set free from things that are a part of that. And it's not fun. And it's like you wonder why you, you have anxiety and depression and all these things come in. They come in through open doors and they're coming in through demons that have these spirits. Everything is a spiritual. Everything is spiritual. I don't participate in this because I love Jesus. And if you love him, you'll obey his commandments. And we're not, we're not supposed to be in accord, you know, it says light can have no fellowship with darkness. I have, there's nothing in me that last year I did, I did Halloween full blown, had a whole party at my house and everything and thought it in the name of fun games and my kids were sick for a week afterwards. Like it was, it did not end well. And I'm not saying that will happen to you, but I'm just saying like, we're supposed to be on watch and if you the more i've read my bible the more i've been in the secret place of the lord i can feel it in the spirit like it's a thick presence like i can feel the spiritual warfare like i do not want to send my kids out there i don't want to participate in this like there's too much at stake my home needs to be literally prayed up and anointed and all the things i don't want to be um out mingling with the world <laughs>
And I just, this is not to shame or condemn or put past judgment on anybody, but when you know better, you do better. And I watched a John Ramirez video on YouTube. I watched Jenny Weaver's, my mentor's video on YouTube, which she is an ex-witch and he's an ex-satanic -like priest or something. And their testimonies will baffle you. These aren't made up stories. These are their real life testimonies and what they experience through this specific holiday. Not through Christmas, not through Easter, but through this holiday that's literally dedicated to witches and witchcraft and a call in the dead so so it's time to die to our flesh stop living to please our flesh and what our flesh wants to do because um we don't know it all and I'm not saying that I know it all and there's still so much that I have to learn and I don't feel like I've reached it I don't think I'm better than I don't think I'm holier than you I I sin I need to repent every single day I'm just I'm learning and growing just like you are so there's no difference between you and i except when i hear from the lord i don't want to be in disobedience now i heard from the lord to speak about this topic on my social media and i don't even like doing this i'm not even good at talking in front of people like this is all the holy spirit flowing through me you guys because i suck and get so nervous and get all stuttered and i'm like i feel like i'm like moses in the bible like i don't don't tell me to do that lord but here i am i need to be in obedience with him when he gives me a word when i spend time in here praying to him and worshiping him and i get all this stuff downloaded so i love you guys and if this helped i pray that this helped you or convicted you or stirred something up or was confirmation for you if you were praying on this topic and you don't know what to do i was there this year as well i didn't know what to do i didn't know and i said lord like show me and he will show you he will show you things don't ignore what the lord is showing you and this is not out of fear you don't need to live in fear we win we have the victory the lord is on our side i love you and thank you for watching